Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you, um, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. I, this might be pushing the boundaries a little bit here. I have a nice little shoe box. Um, I'm also half naked and, um, well, I wanted to make a pretty picture, but I decided that before I made that pretty picture, um, I would show you guys this, uh, I don't know, like I guess you call it a canopy, <laughs> a shoe box. <laughs> it looks pretty darn good. This is one of the more, I don't know if it's traditional varieties at this point, but uh, it looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, I don't even know what it's going to look like. Uh, man, these guys have really, uh, I happen to get an ISO that like seems to be doing the more kind of short version. It also seems to be, uh, it also seems to be not dropping spores. I swabbed it the other day and I got, I'm going to swab some of these guys too, which you can see. Gosh, I have something like this, you could probably get thousands of swabs. Um, I've never actually like pulled one of these out like this. I normally just pick them straight in the tub and do a second flush, but my tents are kind of full right now, so I'm uh, I'm probably just gonna pick these guys, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna like decimate the substrate. Um, so I'm probably just gonna like toss this because, like I said, you could probably get a second flush quite readily, but um, I'm just like kind of full of them on my tents right now. <clears throat> I use uh, shoe boxes and and. Uh, so one of the things with liners, you guys, what's nice is you see how clean that shoe box is? Like literally all I'll do is put a really, really soft, um, really, really soft sponge, you know, one of these. Not 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 the scrubby ones. This is just a plastic, you know, spongy thing. Uh, don't be getting in there with like no scotch spring because as we mentioned the other day on, the, uh, on one of the podcasts, uh, you don't want to be scratching the inside of your tub here because when you scratch the inside, you're going to end up uh, basically creating little micro crevices for all kinds of nasties to sort of hang out. Um, so um, I'll, I might do another video a little bit later, but essentially what I do is I take a garbage bag. Um, I put two of these side by side in one of my garbage bags. I can kind of lay it sideways and I can get um, basically two liners out of one garbage bag. Notice how that garbage bag um, is pretty much like adhered to the side of that cake. That's the idea, right? We don't want to get side pins. Um, you'll still get occasional side pins. Um, sometimes it'll kind of pull away from the, the tub or the container. But yeah, you see that looks, looks pretty darn good. I'm kind of impressed with this, to be honest. Um, I uh, This kind of goes back to that idea of where... Once you get a multi-spore and you see a phenot that you want, you should clone it. And then if you want to get things like this, consistent canopies or whatever the heck you want to call them, um, that really comes down to isolating a single monoculture and getting that thing into your spawn routine. And uh, yeah, you can see it at least. I mean, from a little shoebox, I don't even want to imagine, but that's um, that's a that's going to be several several hundred grams um, wet, uh, and you know, ten percent of that'll be. That'll be dry, so I don't even know um, what that's going to yield, but that's that's pretty darn good for, like, I don't know, these are, yeah, I think people might call them six-quart shoe boxes. I don't know what the size is, but I think it's, like, um, I reckon that's about nine inches. My hand's, like, eight and a half, so that's about nine by, I don't know, maybe 12 or something like that. I don't know what the dimensions are. We do metrics here, too, so um, I don't remember what it is, but, um, yeah, that's not bad. So I'm going to basically set this up and make some nice pretty pictures. And um, yeah, not bad for a shoebox, you guys. Like I said, this comes down to maybe, um, you know, getting a monoculture, getting a good clone. So if I didn't already, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this clone. But if I wanted to clone a fruit here, I'd probably do something. I'm not going to pick it right now because I want to get a nice pretty picture. You know, pick one of those fruits. Maybe you don't want spores. You can see here. Um, if there were spores dropping, you would see on the stipe there, on the stem, you would see a bunch of like sort of blackish, purplish black dust. Uh, and I don't see any. And I swabbed these the other day. I don't have a cotton bud handy. But um, if you take a, a little piece, maybe I'll use a little stick here, you can see that there'll, there'll be lots of spores on there. See? Um, so you can see. I don't know if you see that very well. But there's like a bunch of little black spores there. And if you wanted to swab these, man, you could get literally hundreds, if not <laughs> maybe a thousand swabs out of this. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've already got a clone culture, so I don't want to go back to spores. I'm going to keep this clone culture uh, in circulation and, uh, and basically probably do the same thing. Uh, this again comes down to lots of different, you know, your personal preference here. You know, you might have some some colleagues that might have a particular preference. I kind of like the smaller squatty guys. Um, 
Uh, another thing being said is that like when people talk a lot about when you should harvest, I would prefer to be honest. I would like prefer to harvest it maybe like this stage, right? Right when that maybe something a little bit bigger than this, but right when that veil, like a little bit before this. So so really, I was going to do this last night, um, but because of the lighting conditions in my kitchen, I wanted to wait till this morning, um, and uh, and get get some nice light. But you'd want to probably harvest a little bit before, even before that stage. Like you want to get it right if you want, um, you want them to be kind of nice and I don't know, like they look nice dried. You know, um, something when you're getting to this point here where the, where the spores would be dropping if this was a spore dropper. Uh, that's kind of getting to the point where they'll get, when they're dried out, they'll get kind of crunchy and crispy and they'll break up in your, in your bag or whatever. Um, you probably don't want that. So I would, again, even if you can imagine this guy being a little bit bigger, like that's kind of about the stage you want to harvest that if it were bigger fruit bodies. But anyway, I was trying to see if these had dropped spores. They're not. Um, and so, anyway, I'm just going to roll with it. Take some nice pictures. Uh, and like I said, a lot of people don't like um, the spore drop because it tends to get, like, messy. Um, but these look really, really nice. Uh, again, it's, uh, we can have that discussion later about the, 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 alcohol, the, the levels, the flavor levels and whatnot. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty certain these will do the trick. No, no, no question about that. If you do tend to, uh, maybe if you get busy and you don't have time to harvest, like, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You just munch a couple under. Just munch a couple more. Anywho, you guys, I uh, hope this ain't the one that gets me banned. <laughs> I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> and, and sorry, I'm still wearing most of my clothes. Well, this is a lot of clothes for me, you guys. You, you'd be surprised. Normally, I have way less clothes on than this. <laughs> well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.